Now, gamification has become a popular term used in recent years to describe the application of various concepts from play and games in predominantly the commercial world, but also in education. So it relies upon many of these principles and techniques that we've been talking about in relation to play, and some of the techniques we'll be talking about next week in relation to games. But it's a way of taking these into other uses beyond their intended use around play or games. So, for example, using gamification techniques to encourage students to learn by giving them points, um, giving them gold stars or leaderboards and encouraging competition um, or a sense of self and self-worth through various elements. But we can take a lot of other elements from play and from games and bring it into gamification, such as the concepts of fantasy and taking on roles. But there's many different elements. Not all of them have been fully exploited by, um, by uh, the commercial world, but there are certainly areas that are being explored in education around gamification techniques. So I've given you some of these sort of key ones around stories and visual design, um, competitions, challenges and rewards. And these all have various components that encourage either someone to buy something or someone to engage in learning through various techniques that are drawn from play and game development. So have a look at some of these, read through them and explore them and think about how they relate to your own experiences. Have you been involved in a gamification process where you were encouraged in your learning or to buy something through some sort of reward system? It might be buying a coffee and getting a little reward card. And the more you then buy, you get a free coffee after coming back to the same store six times, which encourages you to keep purchasing from that one location. Um, there are various reward systems that are in place in, um, in lots of different industries. And in education, it's often incorporated into our assessment processes. Um, but lots of different opportunities to explore those various elements and think about how they relate to um, your own learning and your own experiences of games and computer games and how you might be able to incorporate some of these elements into your games, such as having a scoring system or some sort of competitive elements. Um, I've also given you a number of examples of gamification. So one is a, a timed quiz. Um, another is um, where we have scenarios and, and build game elements into some scenarios that we can experience. It's a little like mini simulation through to a more story led simulation where we're placed in a real life fantasy situation. In this case, a medical situation where we're trying to um, resuscitate someone and using the game based techniques to help enhance that learning process so that we come away more likely to be able to apply those techniques effectively and help someone in the future. So post the teams some of your own experiences with gamification and in particular think about some of those elements that we've talked about in relation to play and how they may relate to gamification and think about some of Guy's um, characteristics in relation to learning and how they may apply to gamification and learning. And then we'll discuss those concepts in the tutorial.